Welcome back. My name is Ufgood, and you, today I'm not wearing my hat because I'm lazy. Actually, it's because I'm probably going to go to bed soon after recording this. And so, yeah. Uh, so, I am still going through the beginner tutorial. Um, actually, it looks like uh, he hasn't got all the beginner the donut tutorials um, done yet for 2.8. So there may be a break somewhere along the line. But uh, I did do a little progress and um, I understand that uh, most people aren't gonna be watching this even if it was anything interesting, which it's not. But uh, I'm just documenting my my journey, so, so yeah. And then after I get done with this tutorial, then I'll go back to working through the throne room in my game or in my demo. In any case, let's get this started. Shrink me down. Bump, bump. Oh, weird. Interesting. Um, uh, I don't know if you can see this very well, but uh, this thing's like six and a half hours long. And it's not six and a half hours, half hours long of me working. It's actually six and a half hours long of... It's actually two and a half hours of me working and four hours of nothing because I was in the other room and I forgot this thing was recording. So um, I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, cut it off. I guess use an FFmpeg um, or something to uh, make a exact copy with the a fitting part chopped off. But in any case, it's not going to affect the playback of this. I'm just going to play it, and then um, I'll chop it off afterwards, so it can fit properly in my my archive videos. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, let's start this thing off. And ooh, look at that purple. Donut. Actually, the donut's not purple. The floor, the plane is purple. Purple plane. So it's gonna be about two, two twenty something at uh, the end of the actual video. So what we're going to do here is, yeah, I did some little messing around here. Um, at one point, I would start messing around with my screenshot. At the end, I'm going to mess around with my screenshot. Um, but uh, here, what we do is we add some materials, as you can see. In fact, I'm going to speed it up, of course. Let's speed up to four times. There. So we can see. Um, if I'm not doing anything in the video, I'm probably looking around for stuff or whatever. What was I do? Oh, yeah. Bring that guy up right there and let's see let's see what we will see um, so I start messing around with the colors um, at first I was gonna go with an orange color and then I didn't like that and so eventually I ended up settled on green but uh, I was gonna make it like wet like you know some of the wet glaze you know glazed donuts but uh, decided on that um, and mo mostly, most of it is just the, the roughness. Uh, he did, um, the tutorial, uh, Andrew Pice did have you mess around with the subsurface. I'm not sure that it did that much, but, uh, I did it anyways and messed with it anyways. You know, I like that wet glaze look, but then when I started messing around with the backgrounds and the donut color and everything, I, I decided to change that later. Anywho, let's go ahead and speed that up even more. Let's speed that up uh, faster. There we go. You can just kind of see all the iterations I kind of went through, basically. Because I can have a donut of any color. I'm going to bump this up a little bit, I think. Uh, there's that. Okay, this is me messing with the and again, for some reason, the bottom of the donut is not perfectly flat. I don't know why, but it isn't. So, whatever. I don't think I had any kind of mirroring turned on, but it might have. See the orange there and the brown kind of 
you know, kind of blended into each other. That's why I decided to change the colors. Um, pretty easy, just adding material, new material, and then um, if you click on something, um, the material is automatically added to it, so you can just mess around. Uh, so at one point I was messing with the uh, transparency because I was looking at uh, um, glazed donuts. If you notice, there's little holes there where the um, uh, where the donut actually protrudes through the icing. So I just decided to leave that alone. Uh, maybe some other time I can work, figure out how to make an actual uh, donut looks like it's glazed, um, glazed, glazed. Anyways, I could have left it white like that too, like a white frosting too. But I did, whatever. Okay, so let's just bump it up here. And that's the color I pretty much ended up with was this green. And I kept messing with stuff. Uh, and then it went inside, and then we reset it. Okay. And of course, it was floating for a while. It's not really floating now, but it's still not setting quite on the on the plane but that doesn't really matter that much uh, let's see I did I guess I did some renders in here really not much new not much different stuff here till we actually get to the sprinkles part this part here that I mess with though yeah I started messing with the light the lighting too so I like that one I should have kept that one that's all right. Oh, and this is the one I ultimately ended up with. And then um, Andrew Price started talking about the denoiser, and the denoiser is it's the Intel denoiser, and it's actually in um, 2.81. So uh, I actually downloaded 2.81. It's I don't think it's running. How come? Oh, down here. Yeah. That's where that um, other blender, um, you can see it in here, the other blender uh, icon. So the one down here is actually my desktop, and but this is the, the capture from earlier today. And so when I put it on 2.81, it, it was running a lot slower, um, you know, even using GPU and all that. And I couldn't understand why, so I turned it off, and then I went back to 2.8, and it was much faster. Then I turned that off, and I went back to 2.81. And then um, everything works cool, and, and now there's this denoiser. And uh, rather than um, do a search, uh, I don't like doing searches unless I need to, um, because I'd rather find where it's at so I know where it's at later. It's just an easier way for me to work, I guess. Anyways, the denoiser works pretty good. In fact, what I did is I eventually uh, switched to the number of sa render samples down to 32 which equals it to the viewport render, which means that it's, you know, um, um, which means it's uh, it's kind of grainy, and then the, use the denoiser. And then when I looked at this, um, I thought this looked too pink, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's just like a reflection or something, or maybe I'm messing with the subsurface, I don't know. I don't remember why I felt it was too pink, so I, uh, And then here's me making the screenshot, which is not really important here. But now we got to the point of starting to add the sprinkles. And uh, did some organizing here at the beginning of that video. And at this point we're on level one, part one, or the level two, part one, where he talks about the sprinkles. And... Uh, then we start by making a sprinkle. And then I had to look up the, I had to look up the stupid size of sprinkles and all that, and find something I was happy with. That's the start of it. We did a, a lo pretty fairly low resolution cube. If you notice here, I went a long ways before I, and I just kept on resizing it until it was small enough. Oh, all right. So let's go back to let's go back to. Now the deal here is is you could have a bunch of um, 
how you get a bunch of sprinkles. It gives you a bunch of duplicates and stuff. And this, but um, Enterprise is saying it gets kind of unwieldy. Um, the render times I think go up, and I'm not sure about the render times though, exactly because it puts there's there's a um, a modifier or is it a modifier? I can't remember now. No, it's particle particle stuff, um, which is over here. So this is just basically me trying to get the the size down. So now the particle settings, and uh, basically it you know emit it right. So those little those round balls are particles, of course. And then um, switch switch it to hair, and you'll see see switch it to hair. It means the hair grows out. It like simulates it, I guess, and you can decide how. I guess how hair looks or whatever but what we did is we switched we switched the hair thing we switched it from uh, we switched it to render as object and then it had all these guys here and then your scale and then uh, I noticed that my finger was long and that was because when I rescaled my little particle that um, it was it was flat on one side and um, so as I was reshaping it there, it reshaped it on the on the thing here. Now I'm, then I mess with the scale the way I wanted to. If you notice here, um, screwing around with the scale. Um, and then there's a thing called randomness, and that kind of puts things like all over the place. And so uh, what I did was instead, as I had to hit advanced, this advanced checkbox up here. Okay, let's. Just, um, I hit the advanced checkbox here. Um, okay, so first I selected the icing, then I selected um, particle settings, and then I added uh, I added a, a new deal by pr pressing plus, and, and then I switched to hair, and then advanced, and then um, then you go down to the thing here, and you expand the rotation, and you select it, so that way you can mess with the selection. And then randomize was uh, something to where you um, you didn't want to randomize it too much because it would do kind of weird stuff. Actually, let me play it because I think I might have messed with randomize. Yeah, see. Um, so randomize isn't exactly what you want. So you want the, um, what was it? That randomized phase thing. So you mess with the phase, the randomized phase, and that kind of puts it in all different directions. And then you can do a little bit of the regular randomizing. And then if you notice those, all the sprinkles on the bottom. So what we had to do is select, uh, I had to actually fix that first, that little thing there. And th the only thing is I couldn't see it in sculpting mode. So I had to find the location, and then I had to um, try to sculpt out that that intersection, that's the, where the donut intersects the actual um, icing. And so, uh, you know, I kept messing around with it until I finally got it. In fact, you should see that here. See where it got a little bit there. And, and then it got smaller and smaller. That's me um, just using the regular draw rush, but using control so that it pushes in so it pulls out or adds or whatever until finally, finally it was uh, not poking through. Okay, so now we switch back to I don't know added donut color. I guess I don't know. I think I was messing with lighting or something. I forget now. Oh, the whole thing of the white painting. Because, um... And then we, we temporarily disabled the 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 uh, particles on there. And then what you do is you paint where you want everything to go. And that red is, is where you want it to go, and the blue is where there's nothing there. And, uh... I'm not sure where we set the white painting... See that where it says density? That's where we set it. We set the, I guess, 
I don't know, something to do with vertex groups. You notice it actually puts a lot more sprinkles on there. But if you see that they're only coming through it a little bit. So, so there was that. And then what? What else did I do on here? That's my screenshot again. I don't know why I'm looking at that again. Oh, and this is me preparing my final screenshot. It's it's just because um, I got I got the um, you know it's there. I got the um, the view as close as I could, and then I um, then I took and and warped it a little bit so that. Uh, So that it matched the the roundness to kind of show it a little bit. Anyways, that's just the final screenshot, so that has nothing to do with anything. And then, guess what? Let's go ahead and play back. Now let's play back uh, faster. And guess what? Wow, 16.13. Interesting. Anyways, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Here. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. I, uh, so now we got the sprinkles on. We got some basic color. We got some basic material. And then next is going to be wrapping up the material a little bit on the donut, I think. So stay tuned for that, I guess. And uh, I guess thanks for watching. Not much here. Uh, I'll get back to that game proper soon. I just I, I gotta keep doing this. I gotta keep learning this stuff. So um, you know, I have to do some drawing. I have to do like music and whatever. So you know, this is this is meant to be a long term project, anyways. I give myself five years. And even though it shouldn't take five years, um, it can take five years. In other words, um, it's a long-term project. I don't really know how long it's actually going to take, but I'm giving myself five years. And uh, we'll see if I can make a game in that time. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, I guess... Uh, let's do this. I guess uh, I'll see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. Although you don't really have to because... Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, see you later.